Now the foundation for the Design Suites family is the Autodesk Design Suite, which is built around AutoCAD 2012 and can be applied to any range of design challenges. So let's hear more about this and we're going to ask Heidi to join us and tell us more about ADS. Thanks, Amar. Well, I'm really excited uh, about the new Autodesk Design Suite. And, you know, I spend a lot of time with customers, AutoCAD users. And in the last few years, I've noticed a real increase in the adoption of additional tools that our customers are using to share their designs with, with visual impact. In a sense, they've been building their own suites on an ad hoc basis. Whether they design and manufacture rock concert tour stages like Tate Towers or design hotels like Marriott, Companies are adopting visualization tools to be more competitive. And the Autodesk Design Suite will help many of our customers add these same tools to their workflow. The Autodesk Design Suite includes Auto, uh, the 2012 versions of AutoCAD, Autodesk Sketchbook Designer, Autodesk Mudbox, and Autodesk Showcase, which you saw earlier. The premium edition of Autodesk Design Suite adds Autodesk 3DS Max Design, and the ultimate edition includes everything in the premium plus Autodesk alias design. At the heart of the Autodesk design suite is AutoCAD 2012, and I'm really excited to show you some of the new functionality that um, it has incorporated. One of the most important updates to AutoCAD 2012 is the ability for designers to use existing 3D models from a variety of file formats as a starting point, point for their designs. Supported models include CATIA, Annex, Parasolid, ProEngineer, Rhino, SolidWorks, and even more than that. When importing these file for files, the 3D model is automatically translated to native AutoCAD geometry. So regardless of the original file format, designers can modify the model using familiar AutoCAD editing tools. With the Autodesk Design Suite, these AutoCAD users can also bring their model directly into Autodesk Inventor Fusion, which, as you saw or heard previously from Rob, is now included with every copy of AutoCAD. Integration between AutoCAD and Autodesk Inventor Fusion allows designers to easily pass the 3D model back and forth. And one thing that makes Autodesk Inventor Fusion such a powerful editing tool is its ability to recognize geometry in the model as specific types of features, such as holes. Selecting various features enables designers to directly manipulate those features using relevant tools that are easily accessible. After making their edits in Fusion, they can send the model back to AutoCAD where the edits are maintained and they can continue editing with their AutoCAD tools. And with the new model documentation tools in the Autodesk Design Suite, our users can quickly create 2D views that are associated with the 3D model. Since the 3D model consists of native AutoCAD geometry, whether it was created in AutoCAD or imported from another file format, AutoCAD recognizes the objects and lets designers apply the right dimensions and other annotations. Regardless of which tool the designer uses to modify the 3D source model, AutoCAD, Inventor Fusion, or Inventor, changes to the 3D model are reflected in the 2D documentation. A bubble notification in the um, layout alerts the designer that the model has changed. And if the changes affect existing dimensions, AutoCAD indicate, indicates which dimensions require updating and it prompts the designer to reassociate them. The new model documentation functionality is just one example of how the Autodesk Design Suite can help users design more efficiently and gain a competitive advantage. There are many more enhancements, including autocomplete command entry, in-canvas viewport controls, and powerful new associative array functionality. But that's not all. Our customers are increasingly concerned with staying connected to their work remotely, and there is another powerful tool that is shared across the 2012 Autodesk Design Suite, and that is in-product connectivity and integration with AutoCAD WS. If you're not already familiar with it, AutoCAD WS is a web and mobile application that lets customers view, edit, and share DWG files through a web browser or a mobile device like the one that I'm holding here. Originally released in September, 
The mobile version for iPhone and iPad has now been downloaded over 1 million times from the iTunes App Store, and we recently released version 1.2. This new version uh, 1.2 delivers several great productivity tools and includes support for nine languages and Inventor DWG files. Designers can now connect directly with AutoCAD WS through a new set of tools in all of our 2012 AutoCAD-based products, enabling them to share their drawings with clients, colleagues, and business partners. It brings real flexibility, connectivity, and mobility to their Autodesk Design Suite workflow. That was great, Heidi, thanks. But you know, I, you know you're holding this nice mm -hmm. device here, but the one question our customers always ask us about AutoCAD WS is that when do we go beyond the iPhone, iPad, the iOS devices? Do you have any news for them on that? Well, I, I do, we'll have some more information about that in the near future, so stay tuned. Does that sound like soon then? Yeah, you could okay. maybe say that. All right, great. <laughs> All right thanks so much. Thanks, Heidi.